Hello, Ember. Uh, just so there can be absolutely no doubt about it, one thing I am not is a very competent uh, video maker. So, yeah, put up with the poor quality or not. In any case, uh, the last video I sent you was an introduction, and it showed you basically what I look like and uh, a small introduction with getting to know you a bit. Today it was a pretty good day in the garden. Now Min, who is our gardener, does not work today because it's a um, holiday in the Philippines, which meant that I had to go out and feed the geese and the fish and check out the garden. Now in the process, I'm looking over to my right, I found a whole bunch, there they are, of what are called wing beans. W-I-N-G-E-D beans. They, uh, oh I guess there you go. They got little wings on them, sort of. X-shaped, like an X-fighter from Star Wars, if that's a comparison that makes any sense to you. So that's from our garden today. And there was a, ta-da, there you go, a papaya, which will be at lunchtime. And one of the things that we're really pleased with, we have started years ago, um, geese. And we thought they might be beautiful to look at and then we thought they might be tasty to eat. They're not as tasty as I thought they would be. Uh, but they make the most incredible eggs. Now, one of these is, is pretty big, as you can see. That's about three times the size of a chicken egg. And it is, well, I don't know if you like eggs. But if you like egg yolks, you would really stand a chance of loving goose egg yolks. They are large, they are beautiful, beautiful, dark, almost orangey yellow. They are rich, they're smooth, oh, they're just so delicious. And uh, we're quite happy, we've got uh, four, possibly five, old dames, O-L-D-D-A-M-E-S, that's the right terminology. And we get, we're starting to get, oh, I don't know, two, three eggs a week for three or four weeks, and then uh, we'll miss for maybe a month, but then we'll get them going again. Uh, we're going to have some nice eggs throughout the year. I checked out the bananas that we've got and five of them are growing nicely. One of them has got fruit already. Now, bananas are um, that way. It's strange using the camera because everything I do is in reverse, so I'm never quite sure what I'm doing. And I'm clumsy at the best of times, so trying to think backwards is even more difficult. In any case, the bananas are ripening nicely. The others are growing nicely. Our tilapia are going to be harvested uh, at Christmas. Second major harvest of the year. Third major, make that third. And uh, our, our gardener, the lady that works so well for us and so hard for us and so honestly, she'll be taking home enough fresh tilapia that she'll have a, a feast for her family at Christmas, which is a good deal. And that's kind of a strange thing, all things considered. I mean, I'm hardly a gentleman. I would never claim to be. 
So I could not use the old terminology, a gentleman farmer. No, no, I'm uh, a small scale hobby farm though. Uh, we enjoy the produce of the yard, but if it doesn't work, we don't starve, which is a pretty good position to be in. We get to explore, to try new foods, to see how they grow. Um, that, that's where my pepper section came from. It was not doing so well. And I looked it up on the web and I found out that peppers needed to be pollinated by um, insects. And where we had planted them was not particularly insect intensive, if that's the right word. But uh, our drying shed is made out of bamboo and they get kiwoot living in them. Uh, they're a tiny little bead-like uh, beastie that pollinates peppers really well apparently because when we moved the peppers up there suddenly we were getting lots and lots of peppers. Sweet peppers of multiple varieties, uh, two types of smoking hot peppers. Oh. Uh, the other day we made some soup. Well, Myra made the soup. And all it took was one of our hot chili peppers and it just flavored the whole big, big pot of soup. Um, you don't need many. And I make a great uh, pepper sauce. It used to be Tabasco sauce, but with the adjustments to the... Uh, recipe, it no longer is a Tabasco sauce. It's a combination of two hot peppers and um, two or three sweet peppers. And that will change as different peppers come into season and what have you. But it makes for a... Well, I'm probably boring you with this. I think you're a young a young teenager now, or somewhere 12, 13, 14, that are years old, which there aren't many young teenagers that are into hot sauce like I am as an old man. But it's a nice full body aromatic, oh, aromatic, it cleans your sinuses if you smell it too closely. But we enjoy the garden. Um, now I'm going to end this in just a second. But I have a picture of you and you're kayaking. And uh, I tried that once when we were on uh, Ivory Island. We went on leave and I was in a store and it sold, kayak, sold kayaks. They had one left or something. But there was a kayak in this store and I thought, gee, that, I could try that out on the back of Ivory. It's flat water and it uh, might be a lot of fun out there. So I got this kayak and I got out there and when I got in it and the first thing I did was fall over, uh, immerse myself and found out that I could get out of a kayak that is turned upside down. I had uh, apparently bought a white water kayak and what I should have bought was a seagoing kayak with a flat bottom because what I bought had a curve bottom and there was just no way I could keep upright in that thing. I, uh, it was not one of my more brilliant moments, I must admit, but it sure was fun for a while. A minor adventure, seeing how quickly I could get out of a submerged, re upside down kayak. Yes, I, uh, I've made silly things like that on more than one occasion in my life, which is all right. I, uh, I have never been that uh, worried about making foolish choices. I worry about hurtful, evil choices, but as Somebody once said, if it's not illegal, immoral, or too fattening, I'll probably give it a shot. And if I did it well, I might try it twice. Uh, this time I didn't go back for seconds on kayaks. Uh, 
I moved up to sailboats and motorboats. But that's another story for another time. We'll keep this one short, Ember. Uh, I hope you see it and I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.